How many of the students at ASU actually know what this golf cart is? We see them every day in our pedestrian commutes to our classes, but do we actually know what it is? It's called a dart. The purpose of the dart cart is to provide a means of transportation for students, guests, and faculty who have permanent or temporary disabilities who need help getting to classes and parking lots. We took a trip to the Disability Resource Center and spoke to the supervisor, Jim Morin, who filled us in on the history of the dart carts. It's actually started in about 1982. Uh, the time was uh, Dr. Monty Roth was the director of ASU Health back at that time. And he used to come out and have lunch with us. We had a patio area every day. And we just started talking one day, and he says, you know, we have a students that injure themselves, and many of them are in really bad shape. Mm -hmm. They're generally having to drop out of school or miss school for several weeks, mm -hmm. and That's some can't come back because they've missed so much. Is there any way the university can help in getting these students from class to class while they're recovering? Um, so we basically saw the donation of golf carts at that time. Mm -hmm kind of got things rolling. So we had, you know, many, I think, three carts at the time. Uh, one was wheelchair accessible, which was custom made by a gentleman out in, in uh, West Phoenix. Uh, he built ice cream carts. Um, they were three little carts, but it had a hydraulic system in it. Uh, so when they had to unload and load and offload their, their ice cream machines, they could just lower it and it would roll off. And then they set it up wherever they are. Well. When it was down, it was a perfectly accessible vehicle. As ASU continues to grow and expand, campus sidewalks are often filled with pedestrians, bikers, and skateboarders, making it difficult for the carts to maneuver their way through the crowd of students and faculty. Eric Carlson, an ASU student and a former passenger of the dark carts, shared an idea he came up with that could potentially make the travels of the carts more organized and safer for pedestrians. So over the summer, I broke my leg, okay. and uh, although I was healing and I was in a walking boot, um, I would not have been able to walk from Lot 59 all the way right. to campus. So um, I signed up for the dark car a couple days before class, and they put your schedule in, and uh, basically they pick you up wherever you park, and they take you class to class to class, and back to the parking lot at the end of the day. And while I was riding it, mm -hmm. we noticed that you know traffic around campus is kind of kind of sketchy with pedestrians and people on skateboards, people on bikes, mm -hmm. and uh, the maintenance carts, and then these dark carts, and the, the, the carts, they can do like 25 miles an hour. Interesting. And, but okay. at times, they're hindered because of the pedestrian traffic and the bikes and the skateboards and people going different directions. So I had the idea of the school putting in on the wider sidewalks what I would call a dart lane. And basically, down the middle of all the wider sidewalks that are probably 12 feet wider, wider, and there's a lot of them, you know, mm -hmm. all the malls and uh, and so forth. Um, the dart lane, they basically just dash lines and you know signage that says these lanes are for dart carts and, um, mm -hmm. and actually even skateboards and bikes could use them because they're faster than the pedestrians. And pedestrians just basically apply the rules of the road: just keep mm -hmm. to the right, slower traffic, keep right. It's real right. simple. You know, this tra this traffic going one way stays on the, that side going one way, and then the other side is going the other way. And then the, the dart carts or golf carts or whatever can ride down the middle. Yeah, we were running eight golf carts. Uh, five of them, or seven, excuse me, six of them are four passenger, two of them are six passenger golf carts. Um, the six passenger ones, uh, they're known here as the limos. Uh, they're a little bit longer, a little more difficult to drive because of the long wheelbase, so we only send them out when we need them. Mm -hmm. Um, because with the walk-only zones and, and a lot of the tight turns that are involved with uh, the ballers that they've set in place and all that, um, you know, generally those will go down and just pick up loads of people from a central residence hall. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they both get a lot of work. There's a famous idiom that says, if it's not broke, then don't fix it. This is true for certain things, but this way of thinking can hold back innovations that hold so many potential possibilities for improvement. Arizona State University is one of the most successful and renowned universities in the United States, and this is one change that the school student body and faculty members could both benefit from. There are still innovations waiting for everyday life that can be seemingly simple, yet very helpful for many. 
The Disability Resource Center offers many services, so if you or someone you know has a medically documented temporary or permanent disability, please visit the Disability Resource Center located on the first floor of the Matthew Center building or visit their website.